Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we will be making one of my favorite cocktails of all time, something I love drinking year round and is also universally hated by just about every bartender on the planet. And of course, I am talking about the mojito. So we're going to make the drink, we're going to talk about its history, and stay tuned to the very end because we will show you how to transform this relatively simple cocktail into something even more elevated and special. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that just loves making fun and delicious cocktails. So we're gonna make the mojito here in a second, but before we do, let's quickly talk about the history of this drink. Now, some say that the mojito goes all the way back to the 1500s, but we're not gonna go back that far. Instead, we're gonna pick up the history when it becomes popular in Havana, Cuba in around the 1900s. So the very first time that we see the mojito in print is actually in 1927. And I apologize in advance because my Spanish is absolutely terrible. So the name of the book uh, that it was first published in is called Hacer un Cocktail y Algo Más. Now, that is kind of the identity of the mojito for the first time in print. We can see it, the structure is pretty close to being there, but in 1931, Sloppy Joe's seasonal menu, and I'm not kidding, that is the name of it, um, actually refines a little bit, and there we can see the modern version of the mojito. It has all of the components and is very much a mojito. So now, let's go ahead and make that style of mojito. Now the part you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and make a mojito. So there are a couple different ways you can make it. You can build it right in the glass. Uh, instead, I'm gonna go ahead and build mine in a shaker tin. So the very first thing we're gonna do is grab probably about five to 10 pieces of mint leaves. And just put it right in there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our muddler and just apply light pressure. You're not turning this into salsa. You just wanna release some of the oils and not destroy the mint. Now that we have that in there, we're gonna go ahead and build all of our other ingredients in there. So half an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna do about three quarter ounce of lime or about half a lime. I'm gonna do two ounces of rum. And we're gonna add ice. Now, when we shake this, we're gonna do a nice gentle shake. We're not gonna obliterate the mint that's in there because it's gonna defeat the purpose and it's gonna make it bitter. So we're just gonna do a nice light shake. And that's pretty much it. You're just trying to chill it down a little bit, add some dilution. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pour that into our Collins glass. Yeah, we're gonna fill that with ice. And then we're just gonna to top it off with soda water and some fresh lime or uh, mint leaves. And whenever I do this, I just give it a quick slap like that and it releases all the aroma and you smell that beautiful mint right when you go inside to drink it. Strong. And there we have it, the mojito. Thank you for staying tuned to the very end here. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can transform this already delicious drink into something else. Now, when we take a look at the ingredients of the mojito, we have five categories of ingredients that we can experiment with here. We have a base spirit, we have a sweetener, we have acid, we have herb, and finally a carbonated beverage. We're primarily gonna focus on three though, the base spirit, the sweetener, and finally the herb. Now on the base spirit side, you can use pretty much any base spirit and it's gonna turn out to be a pretty good drink. So whether that be bourbon, cognac, or even tequila, it's gonna turn into a pretty fantastic cocktail. Now the one base spirit I would recommend above all others to try first is gin. Gin in a mojito absolutely sings, it is delicious. Now, when we take a look at the syrups, one of the most common things we see in a mojito is fruit. So whether it be blueberries or blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, whatever it is, um, we usually see that as a flavor as well. So you can either incorporate it in the beginning when you muddle your mint as a way of adding flavor, or you can convert that uh, fruit into a fruit syrup. And this is gonna make a lot less pulp in your final drink. Now, finally, the herbs. 
Um, if you want to stick with mint, there are a lot of different varieties of mint out there, whether it be pineapple or chocolate, whatever you can find, you can use either the base spirit or the sweetener to really amplify and reinforce the flavors you're going for there. Now, you don't have to stick with mint. You can also try dill, rosemary, basil, cilantro, or a combination thereof to make it much more interesting, maybe a little bit more fragrant style of mojito as well. So these are some of the common variables that you can play with to really elevate an already delicious drink to the next level. There we have it. We have made the mojito, we've talked about its history, and at the very end, we talked about some easy ways of transforming this already delicious cocktail. So if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you'll get notified anytime we release a cocktail video similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the mojito. Cheers.